When did you change your shirt? I took my hoodie off, stupid! Don't start with me. You won't. Continue on. That's what I thought. Bug. Nice seeing all of you. I'm gonna hit him! James, I want to know what I'm doing here. Shirley, we'll get to you in a moment. <laughs> I think not. You call me to this meeting and I want to know what I'm doing here. I said, we'll get to you in a moment. Don't you talk to Shirley like that! Yeah, don't you talk to me like that! <gasps> Shirley, would you just shut up? James, what is all of this about? I want to be the principal of this school. And Mr. Harold, you're going to give it to me. Over my dead body! I was nine before, but don't you dare expect it now! Oh, yes. You were so pleasant when you threw me out into the hallway floor and fired me. Thank you for that. You tried to poison me! What did you expect? Back. Sit down. Let me just cut this short. I want the keys to the school and your position of power. And that's exactly what I'm going to get. If I may ask, why do you even want the principal position anyways? Evelyn, would you agree that Mr. Harold is not fit to be in that position? Go on. Ah! Mr. Harold, I have a contract here stating that you will hand over your keys to me and resign from your position of power. So you really think I'm just going to sign it? Just like that? No, of course not. Well, let's see. Ah. The contract also states that if you refuse to do so, then you will be arrested for assault on me from that day. <laughs> you think I was out of jail? I've been plenty of times, and I got out the very next day, so you got nothing. Mr. Harold, as much as I hate to disagree with you, and I actually don't, you can't just ignore this. If you go to prison, there's a possibility that you won't be released on another assault charge. <sighs> I've got you. Shirley? Shirley, yes, of course. If Mr. Harold signs this contract, you will have the opportunity of being my vice principal. Are you serious? Very serious. Uh, I don't know. Shirley, aren't you tired of being Mr. Harold's punching bag? Yes. Yes, I am. Here's you a pen.
famous on Charlie. How was the meeting? It was interesting. Not that I really care, but what happened? Well, I am now everyone's vice principal. What? Congratulations, Miss Aunt Charlie. Thank you. Wait, does this mean you won't be teaching us anymore? Unfortunately, it does. Thank God. I'm not sorry. So then, who's going to be our new math teacher? Your new teacher is going to be Miss Buddadling. No! Why would you do this to us? Let's throw stuff at her! Don't you dare! Look, I'm sorry, everyone. I really am, but this was a great opportunity for me. I had to take it. We understand, Miss Aunt Shirley. Yeah, but why Miss Buddadling? Because unfortunately, she's the only one who agreed to teach all of you. Lucky us. So, um, on top of all this news, Mr. Phoenix is now y'all's new principal. What? Ooh, he's fine. How did that happen? Mr. Harold handed over his keys and resigned. Um, neither him nor Evelyn work here anymore. Well, at least Evelyn's gone. I can't believe this. I left my freaking phone at home. <sighs> Anyways, Miss Buddadling should be here soon. I'm gonna miss teaching all of you. We're gonna miss it too. Well, if anybody needs me, I'll be in my new office. I can't believe this. Me either. I think lunch will make all of us feel better. You are a really fat girl. How's everything? Everything's great. Thank you so much, Mr. Phoenix, for this opportunity. My pleasure. You deserve it after the way Mr. Harold treated you. Well, I'm just glad that he's finally gone. He clearly wasn't principal material. I'm glad you see it the way it is. Uh, before I forget, I have some forms for you to complete, and I need them on my desk by tomorrow. Yes, of course. No problem. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go set up the new dress code for everyone. So then, I told him not to lick it, and he licked it anyways. What are you even talking about? My butt. I told him not to lick my butt while I was showering, and he licked it anyways. Who? Who licked your butt? My dog.
Oh wait, I don't have a dog. Hello everyone. Ooh, hello there. What do you want? I've just come to announce to everyone that starting today, there will be a new dress code for all students in this facility. A new dress code? Precisely. The new dress code begins with a navy blue button-up shirt with a collar, uh, black jeans or khakis, and black shoes. What? He said, I know what he said. No, forget it. I am not wearing that. You look gorgeous. You don't speak. I like it. That's because you have no style. I don't like this. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting eaten. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned. Hey, I just got a text from Ashton. Put your phone away, now. Kristen? <laughs> Ooh, he just must be so crush. What did Ashton say? He said, I'm okay, just been sick lately. It's Asha. She said, I won't be in school for a while. Don't worry about me, though. Something weird is going on. Yeah, no kidding. Why are you doing this? You left me, Ashton. What did you expect? Uh, for you to move on like a normal person? <sighs> you know, I really should have known ever since I found out you two used to be together that you'd be sneaking around behind my back. <sighs> I never snuck around behind your back. You're crazy. Crazy? No, I am not crazy. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I knew that something was wrong with you from the start. Just didn't think I'd end up being locked in a basement for everyone to figure it out. But it's okay, though. I'm satisfied. You know everyone's gonna catch on eventually, and they'll come looking for us. No, they won't. You see, I have both of your phones, and everybody thinks that you two are just fine and out skipping school somewhere. <sighs> you did this, Ashton. You have nobody to blame but yourself.
Shirley, we have a situation. Shirley, we have a situation. I saw my bloody ass woman! Mr. Harold. <laughs> Are you insane? How did you talk this show, Heather? Mr. Harold, this was a wonderful opportunity for me. Did you seriously expect me to say no? Yes! <sighs> Mr. Harold, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I really am. But I needed to do what was best for me, and that's why I took this job. You backstabbed me! We were? No! But it sounded good to say. <sighs> Mr. Harold, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. So now you're kicking me out! After all I've done for you! All you've done for me? You beat me up, choked me, threw me into the halls, continuously insulted me, flicked boogers at me, wiped your butt in my face, and you even tried to run me over with your car. What I did, I did out of love. You unappreciative brat! Mr. Harold, leave. Fine, I'll go. But you just remember, this ain't the last time you see this face. I hate this uniform. Me too. This is so not my color. I'm starting to like it. I just think it looks so hot. You know. Ooh, spicy. Ooh, get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. So much you're working with. Ooh, your mama. Your mama. Ooh. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. I'm so sassy. Like Ashen. Where is Ashen? Let's all look at a brighter side. You know how most people can burp the ABCs? Well, I can fart the ABCs. Ew. But you won't, right? Well, if you insist. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> that sounded more like a C. Hang on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Can you stop now, please? You just don't appreciate actual talent. I thought it was amazing. I can't wait for the rest. It smells like aged cheese in here. My butt. Girl, it smells like something down crawl to your booty hole, took a dump, and died. Mr. Harold, what are you doing here? I thought you resigned. Just like when Emily took my job, I'm going to get my job back from Mr. Phoenix. And nobody going to cross Frank Charlotte Harold.
Your middle name is Sherbert? Don't be an idiot! Mr. Hell. <gasps> like him.